Uh, good afternoon. I'm uh, Dean Back Savannas coming from Collins Aerospace, a uh, worldwide leader in defense and commercial aerospace products. Uh, we're really happy and excited to be here at uh, Poland uh, MSPO to support our Polish customers in the uh, Polish Air Force. Uh, a little bit about Collins Aerospace is that we're a uh, very diversified uh, aerospace uh, company headquartered in the United States. Uh, we were formed a few years ago with the merger of Rockwell Collins and UTC Aerospace Systems and really proud to offer world leading uh, aerospace uh, products in commercial aircraft as well as military uh, defense lines. My particular business unit is that I come from the uh, ISR and Space Group, which is headquartered in uh, Massachusetts of the United States. And uh, I'm the director for international business development within uh, ISRS. Uh, what brings us to Poland is uh, we make a product called the DB-110, which is an airborne reconnaissance pod that is operational for many years on the Polish F-16. Uh, we're really proud to support our Polish Air Force customer for many years as one of our first customers of the DB-110 on this platform, uh, a product that's uh, supported uh, the Polish military uh, gather really critical and uh, time-sensitive intelligence uh, domestically and in support of coalition operations for many years. And uh, we're, we're very proud to offer this product uh, not only to Poland, but many countries around the world as well, within NATO and uh, Middle East and uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, domestically in the U.S., our, our company has uh, a long history of uh, exquisite high-technology uh, airborne ISR products. We make the camera that goes on the uh, U.S. Air Force U-2, uh, U.S. Air Force Global Hawk, and other uh, proprietary programs. And so it's so important and valuable that we're able to offer similar capabilities to our most important NATO company, countries, uh, especially in these important times, uh, globally speaking. Um, today, what we're talking about with the Polish military and others is some new technology uh, product lines that we have where we're gonna advance the DB-110 uh, to a new technology line called the MS-110, as well as TAXAR, each of which offer many important uh, intelligence capabilities above the DB-110 in the realm of multispectral imaging and synthetic aperture radar reconnaissance uh, capabilities, all tied together through uh, the latest of our uh, software called the SCI Toolset, which is operational in our ground stations and supports the Polish Air Force as well as coalition uh, intelligence sharing uh, within uh, other parts of uh, other governments. So uh, with that said, I'm happy to answer any questions. And I'm also joined by my colleague, uh, Andy Jeffrey, who can uh, show you a little bit more about our capabilities and talk at a little bit more of an operational level about what uh, our products bring to the warfighter. So we're building on uh, years of supporting the Polish Air Force with the DB-110 long range reconnaissance pod on their F-16 aircraft. Clearly a problem that we have in Eastern Europe and the whole of Europe is the weather is poor. So we need to be able to carry on doing intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance when cloud stops us looking in the EO and IR spectrum. So what we've developed is the, the next generation of sensor to follow on from the DB1, which is called the TAXAR. And effectively we replace the EO IR sensor with a, uh, a radar sensor that fits into the center of the pod. Uh, we retain a lot of the infrastructure and the, uh, the pod contents from the DB110, giving it a common architecture, but just replace it with an all-weather sensor that can not only see through cloud and image to a high resolution through cloud, but we can also do other uh, modes of operation, such as ground moving target indication and, uh, and also maritime sea surveillance. Um, it's got uh, a number of modes. They are all uh, configured very easily from the cockpits, easy to operate, so very low workload for the pilot. And what we've done, the example that you're seeing on the screen here is the SCI tool set, which is taking all the data from all our sensors and any other intelligence sensor that the uh, Polish Air Force has, and then converting it into data and then into intelligence value product as quickly as possible. And we do that with the SCI toolset. SCI stands for Simplifying Complex Information. It's, uh, it's an ITAR free product, which is uh, procured in or built in the UK. And it's a bundle of software and or hardware that will take all the raw data and then display it as you can see behind me. Uh, and we'll take you through a few examples of how we can do that and how we can get information to the commanders as quickly as possible. And one of the key assets that we look for this tool set to do is to be able to share coalition data or around the air forces as quickly as possible. So we make the maximum use of every element of uh, ISR data that the Polish Air Force collects.
Well, I think everybody knows that um, as well as being able to uh, take offensive action against an enemy, what we also need to do is understand the pattern of life that an enemy has from day to day and how that is changing. And the long range capability of both the DB-110, the MS-110 and the TAXAR allows us to do that. One of the things you're seeing behind me is ground moving target indication, which shows you the pattern of life, how people are moving around on the ground. And then the intelligence analyst can look at that and see how that is changing. So perhaps the enemy is becoming more on a war footing, even in, its, uh, in, in the deep territory. Uh, and so we can help enable people keep a 24 seven all weather picture. So in the past, the enemy could hide its activity in poor weather using systems sort of taxar we can now make sure that we can keep an eye on what people are doing uh, in all weathers. So what you're looking at here on the screen is uh, one of our tools for the SCI toolset. As I said, SCI stands for Simplifying Complex Information and it gets data and ISR information to the commanders in a timely fashion so they can make effective decisions. The particular tool you're seeing is SCI Pulse and we're seeing synthetic aperture radar imagery automatically overlaid onto the globe, uh, the Earth's surface with accurate, uh, very high accuracy. And then over the top, in the, uh, in the red and the orange colors, you're seeing ground moving targets moving around the map in real time as we uh, take the imagery. Um, imagery from the pod and data from the pod will be data linked down to the ground station and we can replay this in real time. So again, we're adding to the timeliness of the capability. So this is SCI Pulse. And then what we would do is put this particular product into SCI Discover, which is our database, which would allow commanders to share the information around the battle space. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Dean Back Savannah uh, from Collins Aerospace. Um, one of the things that we're really pleased to be discussing here at uh, MSPO this week is the introduction of the MS-110 uh, multispectral airborne reconnaissance system. The MS-110 is the uh, next generation of the uh, proven DB-110 that's currently operational with Polish Air Force and with uh, over a dozen other end users worldwide, uh, mainly on the F-16 and F-15 uh, fast jets uh, around the world. The MS-110 will introduce multispectral imaging capabilities so that the end users can collect intelligence in color, in false color composite imagery to extract uh, better intelligence value about the target sets that they're looking to uh, detect. Uh, one of the most important accomplishments that we've done for the MS-110 is that Collins Aerospace has signed an IDIQ umbrella contract vehicle with the U.S. Air Force. What that means is uh, foreign military sales customers in Poland or across the world are able to acquire the MS-110 through a very streamlined contracting process under this umbrella contract vehicle through the U.S. Air Force. That allows not only quicker contracting and delivery timeline, but also economies of scale as multiple countries often will buy uh, within the same period and can achieve and leverage economies of scale off each other. Um, Collins is very pleased to offer this capability not only to Poland, but to other regions as well uh, within Europe or around the world, and uh, are very confident that this uh, product uh, is gonna continue to be well received by the customer community and uh, offer the uh, best generation, best uh, technology for fast jet tech recce uh, available worldwide.